decided to do another video on this REI cot. It's really, uh, really glad I decided to go with this. It's a little bit more than your average cot, but totally worth it. Um, like I showed in the other video, it actually, uh, it will recline. It, uh, I've got it locked down right now, but this back comes up to several different positions, steepness or whatever you want to call it, incline. And uh, it's got this really nice padding, bungee cord system. It folds up to a pretty good size. Um, I'll definitely be able to stow it in here somehow and free up some room if I need to chill in the van or anything. Folds up pretty quick. A couple of things you gotta do, you gotta do it in the right order. But it's worth it, what a great cot. I may just sleep on this thing tonight, we'll see. I'm off tomorrow, so. Getting ready for the next trip. Everything's looking really good. My new van, couldn't be happier. So, that's the REI Kingdom Cot 3, I think it was its official name. Excellent product. I think it's 31 and a half inches wide, something like that. 70, can't remember how long it was. It uh, looks to be in here. It's probably 78 inches, something like that. Check the specs on their website or wherever. And uh, I think I'm going to be able to put some stuff underneath here. Uh, it comes down a little bit when I sit down on this part or when I lay on it. But uh, I think there'll be plenty of room to put clothes and stuff like that underneath here freeing up uh leave this aisle open it's just about the right size and this is a 2010 sienna that i can still step through here pretty comfortably <laughs> as comfortable as it was before the center console kind of blocks you but i'm limber enough where i can climb through there still and uh still access the front i can access stuff underneath this end too there's a lot of room under the underneath this end and the floor is a little lower down here which the nice thing about this cot is that it it has its uh, all of its legs are up on this end, so it doesn't really even go down to this lower part. That was kind of a, I thought I was gonna have to put a board or something in there for that. But uh, yeah, you can access your stuff from over there. Uh, I've got the DVD player in this van. I figure I might use it. I probably use my laptop, but who knows? And then I sit here with it reclined and uh, watch. I'll tell you what. I'll. Uh, it takes just a second, and I need both hands to do it. I gotta kind of stand up here. Uh, to flip this up, but uh, I'll come back in just a minute and show you that. So here it is uh, all the way up, and it goes vertical. You can see. It's it's pretty much vertical. But it has uh, a bunch of little tabs in there that you can change. So I, it looks like it has uh, pretty much infinite uh, adjustability. I've had it at several different heights. I hope the light's okay here. It's... Uh, shining through here but yeah this thing's awesome uh, I didn't see a whole lot of other cots that reclined and that were quality brand um, if you're gonna have something like this like I said it has a lot of moving parts you're gonna want to have it be a quality brand so I was happy about that and it even matches my van so looking really good I'm gonna come around this side like I say the lights a little weird over there but there you go, Kingdom Cot 3. Can't wait to try it out.